supporters of internal combustion are bashing electric cars left and right, while EV fans are in turn lashing out on their zero-emission competitors represented by hydrogen fuel cell technology. Some why members of each faction are convinced that only one technology can survive. But we here at Automotive Territory Channel are trying to remain open-minded and equally explore each possible scenario of the future of mobility. So today, let's dive into the lineup of the newest hydrogen-powered vehicles that will be trying to prove their worth across various segments of transportation. Before we get to the episode, though, consider subscribing not to miss the upcoming informative content, ring the notification bell, and enjoy the ride! BMW i Hydrogen Next BMW continues to expand its fleet of electric and electrified vehicles, but as it turns out, the company has another technology under development. In partnership with Toyota Motor Corporation, the Germans are working on a new fuel cell drivetrain that will power the brand's larger models and will target those customers who are not ready to wait for the recharge. The entry vehicle to try the setup is a version of the X5 SUV that debuted in prototype form in the middle of 2019. The car is expected to receive a new 5th generation e-drive unit, sending 374 horses to the rear axle. It will consist of an electric motor, a transmission, and a battery fed by the front-mounted fuel cell system, converting hydrogen into electricity and generating up to 170 horses. The BMW iHydrogen Next will also get two 700-bar tanks holding 13.2 pounds of hydrogen in total. Toyota Mirai Unveiled in 2014, the Mirai is the world's first commercially sold hydrogen-powered car with nearly 10,000 units sold worldwide. The original model indeed featured some technological breakthroughs, but one of its major disadvantages was the premium price tag, which was not supported by the upper market design. The second generation of the Toyota Mirai is here to resolve this matter by migrating from the previous platform to the new premium rear-wheel drive setup with the dimensions similar to the Avalon and four-door coupe body style. The newcomer is aiming at the 30% range increase, so we can expect up to 406 EPA miles on a tank, plus the performance parameters are bound to improve as well. The saloon rides on 20-inch wheels gets a revised interior with 12.3-inch infotainment and a 14-speaker JBL audio. Nikola Badger If you have ever seen renders of how people had expected the Tesla Cybertruck would end up looking, then you will recognize the design choices made by Nikola Motor. Their Badger will be arriving in September 2020, and it is definitely putting a preliminary claim on the title of the best-looking electric pickup of tomorrow. Besides the futuristically conservative looks, it will offer impressive capabilities, which are made possible by the fuel cell and battery electric hybrid powertrain. The Nikola pickup will output 906 horsepower, 980 pound-feet of torque, shall be able to tow 8,000 pounds, and will get to 60 in supercar-like fashion of 2.9 seconds. The Badger's range is astounding 600 miles, 300 insured by the battery, and another 300 by 17 pounds of hydrogen converted to electricity in the fuel cell. Mercedes-Benz GLC F-Cell With the launch of the GLC F-Cell, Mercedes is taking another step towards a green future for the automotive industry as a whole. The brand's first fuel cell model features a plug-in hybrid powertrain with a hydrogen-powered fuel cell and a conventional rechargeable battery. Such a tandem gives the SUV four driving modes. The hybrid optimizes efficiency by taking power from both energy solutions. The F-cell means that only hydrogen is consumed. The battery mode is electric only, while the charge mode is aimed to create a power reserve by refueling the battery upon hydrogen operation. The company claims that 13.5 kWh battery will let you cover the distance of 22 miles, while in the combined mode, the range is estimated to reach 200 plus miles. The SUV's peak output is 217 horsepower and 276 pound-feet of torque, while its top speed is electronically limited to 100 mph. Nikola Semi 
With the initial delivery scheduled for the end of 2020, Nikola Motor are on track to become the world's first commercial semi-trucks powered by hydrogen. Their current lineup consists of the Class A Nikola 1, its day cab version Nikola 2, and the European cab version Trey. The trio takes advantage of the hybrid powertrain that utilizes a hydrogen fuel cell primary power unit to recharge the 250 kWh battery. As a result, the 800 volt motor produces 1000 horsepower and 2000 pound feet of torque at the peak, while the estimated range reaches 750 miles. The Nikola Semis are rated at 80,000 pounds and possess 2x6 and 4x6 drive systems with torque factoring. Alongside the development of hydrogen trucks, Nikola Motor are planning to establish a wide network of fueling stations across the US and Canada, and the company's success seems rather plausible due to the recent merger with Vector IQ Acquisition Corp. Which one of these hydrogen vehicles do you find the most promising? Explore the entire lineup before making the decision. Leave a like and let's get back to it! Gumpert A Waste Nathalie The restless former Audi and Apollo Automobile executive Roland Gumpert is embarking on a new mission of developing a fuel cell electric sports car in cooperation with the Shanghai based auto manufacturer A Waste. Unlike the rest of the video lineup, the Nathalie is fueling its tanks with pure methanol, which is converted to hydrogen, which in turn passes through the fuel cell to generate electricity. The output of four wheel hub motors equals to 536 horses and results in 187 miles per hour top speed, 2.5 seconds 0 to 60, and all wheel drive capability. According to Gumpert Airways, Nathalie has the range of 510 miles, which is likely to be needed since the network of methanol stations is quite thin as well. The company plans to manufacture 500 units of the sports car and develop seven more variants of vehicles on the same platform. The sales will take place across the central and northern part of Europe, with the starting price equivalent to $460,000. Hyundai Naxo Unlike the major Asian automaker Toyota, which is stubbornly opposing the introduction of electric cars and allegedly focuses solely on fuel cell vehicles, Hyundai is actively developing both technologies. Along the pure electric Kona EV, the company introduced the Naxo hydrogen-powered crossover, which is set to replace Tucson fuel cell. The new model is using a fuel system comprised of three identical 700-bar hydrogen tanks, 41 gallons in total. The powertrain is getting a boost in horsepower and torque that now equal to 161 HP and 291 pound-feet. The overall range is 380 miles on a single fill-up with 5-minute refuel cycle which should deafen the Excite range skeptics. The Nexo shall become the test platform for the latest autonomy features from Hyundai, like lane follow assist, level 2 autonomy highway driving assist and remote smart parking. Toyota Sora The first fuel cell bus to receive vehicle type certification in Japan has been surfing in the Tokyo metropolitan area for almost two years now, and it was even expected to help the tourists at the 2020 Summer Olympic Games, which are now postponed. The Sora comes powered by two solid polymer electrolyte FC stacks that drive two electric motors. Each delivers 154 horses and 277 pound-feet of torque while the bus's 124 miles range is courtesy of 10 high-pressure tanks carrying 158 gallons of hydrogen. The 34-feet-long Sora can carry 79 passengers plus the driver and features intelligent transport systems to keep everyone aboard safe. The latter includes all-speed radar cruise control, vehicle convoy recognition function, collision warning and emergency driving stop. Currently, it is not expected to enter the European or American markets, but it is possible that the Japanese giant is simply waiting until hydrogen fueling stations become more widespread in these regions. Grove Granite Just like in any other technology field, the new Chinese startups emerged to get their own piece of the pie of the fuel cell future. Among them is the Wuhan-based Grove, that at the 2019 Shanghai Auto Show presented their new four-door coupe concept called the Granite. The car has stunning exterior design with a bold grille and sculpted rear diffuser, 
and comes built using carbon fiber, aluminum and high-strength biocomposite parts. Its powertrain is in-house developed, combining a hydrogen-powered drive system and a non-lithium energy storage solution to cover up to 620 miles. The sedan's interior is designed by Pininfarina, using Italian leather, advanced materials and renewable fabrics. HDC6 Snaptoon Hyundai has a lengthy history with commercial vehicles production, focusing on development of buses in early 70s and adding a comprehensive portfolio of truck chassis and semis in the later years. Currently, the company is working on advancing fuel cell solutions and adapting them to be used in its commercial trucks. The latest model to show off its progress in this field is the HDC6 Snaptoon concept. The semi has a gross combined vehicle rating of 80,000 pounds and comes displayed alongside the new generation refrigerator trailer which uses nitrogen and is built by the brand subsidiary company Hyundai Translead. The tractor's design is inspired by the old steam trains. It has rounded shape, while the lower part of the truck is performed in a grill-like theme, optimizing airflow for the battery and fuel tank's cooling. The truck carries eight hydrogen tanks, though its powertrain capacity remains undisclosed. Inside there is a large driver's compartment with lots of amenities and modular interior. Sky If we're ever to see true zero-emission electric aircraft with long-distance travel capabilities, we either have to drastically improve battery density or utilize hydrogen fuel cell technology. The latter route appears to be more plausible and it is explored by the Massachusetts-based Alakai Technologies, who stand behind the world's first fuel cell six-rotor multi-copter called the Sky. This VTOL was developed in cooperation with BMW Studio Design Works. The body will be made of lightweight carbon fiber and the cabin should have the capacity to carry four passengers plus the pilot. The implementation of the fuel cell technology allows the Sky aircraft to have adequate 400 miles range with a cruising speed of 100 miles per hour. What are your personal thoughts about the potential of hydrogen fuel cell technology? Is there enough room for EVs of both kinds? Share your opinion in the comment section and proceed to watching other videos by clicking on the icons on the screen. If you enjoy our content, support the channel by shopping on Amazon through our affiliate link in the description. Subscribe, like, share and as always, may the torque be with you!